when you gather in a circle, um, you know, there's no beginning, there is no end, uh, there's no head of the class, there's no back of the class, we're all one and the same. Yes, you are the facilitator, you start the conversation, uh, but at the end of the day, the circle belongs to, to everyone. For the facilitator piece, you need somebody that's flexible. One of the things when we're working with groups and facilitating groups is that you never know what's going to come up. If you want to be a facilitator, you have to want to be there simply to serve the youth, serve the families, nothing else. They need to be really empathetic about these students and they need to be really patient and they need to be really responsible with them. I would think just someone that, um, that understands where kids are coming from, you know, like just kind of being there for that person and, and kind of just connecting with that person, you know. But as long as you have that energy that once you go into that circulo and you're facilitating, you're 100% there and you're 100% present and giving that attention to everybody is important. That's your main role, being able to provide that, that safe space where youth can come and feel valued, validated, appreciated and, and wanted um, above everything. Even though you are the facilitator, even though I am the facilitator, I'm not any better than any of the youth you know, that come along, that join the program. So I think that it's always good to be realistic and tell people who are coming. It's like, yes, you will make a difference. However, know that it takes time and it takes a long time, but being able to be committed to, okay, how can I work on that and, and being willing to ask for help as well. We understand that for our program to be successful, uh, we have to have the face-to-face -face interaction with our youth and families. The main perk, I would say, it's that you get to serve the community. You get to do something that's meaningful, something that's uh, bigger than yourself. Having that team to back you up and having a team like Mahatma, who he's, you know, over six years, and so he's done the curriculum for many years, and so he knows it very well. So being able to ask questions of people that have more experience helps out. You know, for my coworkers, um, I'm just proud to serve uh, alongside with them, you know, simple as that. We have an amazing program, um, but we have the opportunity to, to expand and make it even better than, than, than it is. And all that we need is uh, co-workers and employees, uh, applicants that are willing to serve the community, not because of fame, not because of money, because we're not here for that. We just need people that are here willing to serve the community, uh, you know, with open arms and with no reservations, just willing to give 110% for, for you and your family.